I think it like gets rocks. I, it keeps the soil fresh or something. It keeps it. Uh, there's a reason for it. There's a bug. Did I catch it? I did. Did I catch it again? I did. It's now outside. Um. We were just interviewing a, two German guys who, a couple of weeks ago, in the same spot, these killers are hiding in the woods. The German guys were on a canoe trip and went over some rocks and broke their canoe. Had to hike out through the bog where they are. It was like 70k, and they said we'll do 10k a day. Yeah. Of course, and they had lots of food, like phone, compass, yeah, yeah. everything. It took them like 15 days until they got to a road to get picked up. Yeah. And they said that the bog just would suck your foot. Yeah. Like we would make a kilometer in a day. Oh, like they really? said the first day would be 500 meters. You know, the fourth day, Helmut, the other German guy, slipped and cracked his head on the rock. Oh. We were freaked out. Like we heard helicopters above us. Yeah. No one, no one responded to our waving at all. Oh. We said no offense, oh. no offense to the people searching. Like they probably know what they're doing, but I don't, I don't see how you'd be found if you want to be found. This is also doesn't feel like it's been 100% cooked, and I don't know if that's the flavor or the texture they're going for, or a mistake. We shall find out later. Wait, so they're on the run, or I don't understand what we're talking about. Do you? Read a paper? Like the, the guys that killed there's the two German guys. guys are on the run. German. <laughs> the German guys there are, two, are there's Germans on the run. There's two guys that killed some guys in BC. Mm -hmm. And those two guys are on the run. Mm -hmm. And in the area where those two guys are on the run, there were some German canoe tourists who crashed their thing mm -hmm. and are walking through. So they're just two other guys in the same area comment okay. on the fact that because that's what I meant if helicopters are looking for people mm -hmm. and there's guys waving at them mm -hmm. and the helicopters don't see them then are they going to find people who don't want to be found I don't know when you you walking with this against to a stranger that you're walking on the sidewalk or whatever you both make eye contact or the one person's looking at you how long are you supposed to hold that stare for Neil deGrasse Tyson is um you smart man. So like, what he's good at is explaining things to people. No man, if you got like all of the best astrophysicists in the world, you'd like maybe fill a room. And they're the only ones who actually get it. I feel like he's just the most famous. See, I should just do fashion critique. Who? The Jaws shirt? The Jaws shirt. <laughs> Why is it bad? If you're that big of a guy, mm -hmm. he should have had a shirt that was just a, the picture had to be massive. The frame of the shirt didn't fit his frame. It makes him look really fat. Like say a full graphic of something, yeah. it would be more like camouflage. But if something is part of culture, and culture can be a society or just one person, and it has been happening for uh, quite a while, if you make a law that bans it, it's not going to stop. It's going to keep happening kind of underground. And so the question really is, should you um, or what is the better way to solving the problem at hand than just saying no, it can't happen anymore. Because just saying no just makes it not be exp expressed as much. And then if the, the solution to the problem is try to make it not happen anymore, what's a better way of doing that? Think about that. Or, like, or don't. Than your fucking space yeah. hell theory. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're in hell because there's so many good people. Because hell wouldn't be a bad Whoa. place if there's only bad people. That would be Whoa. a good place then if the bad people are in a bad place. Wow. But if there's good people in a bad place, so there are bad people, that's a very bad place. The ranch sauce contains milk and egg. What is ranch sauce? They had a First Nations guy who, uh, I don't know what First Nations police are called, but the tribal, tribal police said that he stopped them while he was talking to them for some reason. The guys? Yeah, but then let them go. Like, he knew that nothing that anybody were... was looking for them. I can't tell if that's a cop car or a taxi. They were on the radio, on the radio I heard all the police coming into the native community, like this normal 
actually got a population of 500 and then doing all the scouring and then and then leaving and then people going like I haven't locked my door in 20 years and now I'm like totally paranoid about these killer guys like uh, around. How do you make it go? Because that's how I access more networks. It's like the networking this thing, you know what I mean? Like I'm right here and I'm trying to get all of this area to know who I am, you know what I mean? But I can't, instead of, it's hard to tell every single person that's there. So if I just tell five people that then tell their five people, you know what I mean? Then exponential growth, that's how that whole thing is. So if you did like this video, comment, subscribe, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Why is it beeping? Why is it working? You're not wearing your seatbelt. I'm a danger man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a danger man. Oh well. We're taking it out to eat it where you're Danger man doesn't eat anywhere. <laughs> Hurry, eat danger man. Danger man's banging your brain now. Just hang on. Hey, good I'm not good at making up nicknames for myself. Yes, you are. Danger man's a horrible nickname. Fat face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>